Okay, this video, we're going to work through one of the con problems together. You may see this problem, you may not see this problem, but either way, it's going to be a good point for you to kind of have a baseline understanding of what you can expect with these problems to help you work through each of them. So this says, Rebecca manages a yoga studio that charges each customer a one-time initial fee of $35 and an additional fee of $12 per class taken. So this is going to help me set up my inequality. In Desmos, I typed in y equals mx plus b because we're going to use this to model our situation. This equal sign is going to change to an inequality sign, but we're not going to do it just yet. Immediately, I see that we have a one-time initial fee of $35, and my b value is my one-time fee, some starting point, but we're going to look for something like a charge that only happens one time, and that's the $35. And then it tells us an additional fee of $12 per class taken. Whenever we see the word per, that's usually going to indicate that that's our slope. So I'm going to take out M and I'm going to put in a 12 because this is telling me what my slope is. So $12 per class taken plus the $35 initial, the $35 initial starting fee. Rebecca's goal is for each customer to spend at least $100 at the studio, and she wants to know the minimum number of classes the customer needs to take to meet that goal. So this 100, we're going to replace Y with 100 because that's telling us what the money goal is. And if we see at least $100, that means we want this side to be greater than or equal to this side. Because when we add these together, we want that to be more than $100 since that's Rebecca's goal. So we're going to use that symbol. So 100 is less than or equal to 12x plus 35. And all I did was put it in Desmos. Okay, so now what I need to do is find this inequality here. And it looks like this is 35 plus C doesn't work. 35 plus C doesn't work. 35 plus 12C is less than $100. Well, I know that I want this to be more than $100. So this is the last option that makes sense. Now it says, what's the minimum number of classes a customer can take for Rebecca to meet her goal? What we're going to do is just pop on over here to Desmos. Now, if Rebecca, we have 5.417. If each student only takes five classes, let me plug in five for X, that does not give her $100. That only gives her $95. So we're going to have to round up to the, we're going to have to bump it up to the next whole number of classes. So if a person took six classes, then she would earn $107. We're going to go with six classes instead of five classes because the five classes did not get us to that $100 minimum that Rebecca wanted. So we'll put six in here, check our answer, and we're good to go. This again is just helping you set up for the rest of the classes or the rest of the problems in this activity. If you need help, there are videos for each of these that Khan gives you, so make sure that you're watching those.